that kind of led me down the path of uh, of doing like what you said, plan, plan and, and focus, right? So I had to basically stop worrying. I mean, I had to worry still in some way. Obviously, obviously. How the doing? Yeah, but the doing nothing got me into a very severe path that I was just like, wait, I had to stop and plan and focus, and that's kind of what got me into the ultra marathon world, where there, you know, to to run, you still have to. I mean, you can still drink and run, yeah. but but <laughs> you know, but to 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 run ultra marathons and drink, that's really tough. So I had to back up off of that shit. So I'm glad you share that. Yeah, man, it was it, for me. It was huge mental games, man. I, I, I didn't. I, I looked for something by doing nothing. I went from being an extremely active athlete, watching sports, loving sports, um, fighting, training to fight, to not even watching shows about sports, not even Why following that? anybody on Instagram, because it was a mental block. It was hard for me. It was hard to. to I felt like I wasn't going to be able to get back to it. So instead of trying to figure it out in the best way possible and embrace it, um, I was just simply going, I don't even want to see sports. I don't even want to talk about sports at all. And it wasn't on purpose. It was just me blocking things out. And um, it taught me that that doesn't make it better. It just made it harder. And it, it made me get further away from what I loved. And I now understand that it's not about always being exactly what you were doing, but it's about being around what you love. It's about being part of what you love and loving that. So a lesson learned that you have uh, is basically if you're going through all these stuff, don't let go of what you really love, but try to focus on it a little bit more. No, whatever way, like if, if a lot of athletes right now, and it's a big thing for athletes because we're so used to training with people, so used to being part of a team. Um, if you're not doing that right now, just wake up every morning, do some push-ups, work out in one way, study, watch videos, do something that keeps you active. Um, I personally right now, I'm really focusing on my rehab. I have been putting it to the side for way too long and now I have time and nothing but it. So every morning when I do my yoga, I'm focusing on my shoulder, I'm focusing on my lower back, strengthening it so that when I come back, even if it's just bartending and then working on my small business when I get it back going, I need to be better than what I left it. I can't do the same because that's worse. Do you, 